people of the internet. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is LT and I am an avid K-pop fan who's decided their hand at making their action videos instead of binge-watching them to learn about new music. Today, Wiztober continues. I'm fresh off of watching Umbi's uh, most recent comeback, her underwater MV, which was brilliant. Go check it out if you have the chance to. Not the reaction, the actual MV itself. But today may be the most exciting debut post Eyes One Disbandment we've had in a very long time. I mean, we've had Umbi debut solo, we've had Yena debut solo, we've had Eugen and Wonyoung debut in five. We've had Cheon, no, Che Won and Sakura debut with La Seraphim. We've had Yuri debut solo. We've had Minju confirmed going the actress route, signing with the, the suit management. Heiwon's kind of doing whatever floats her boat. <laughs> She's been a YouTuber. She's released a single with Stella Jung for Christmas last year. Nako's promoting with HKT. Uh, Hee Chun's promoting with AKB and doing extremely uh, busy schedules with other content here and there. Am I missing anyone else? I don't think so. Oh, I know who. Miss Yi Cheon, because she's been left in the uh, WM dungeon ever since she, uh, ever since Eyes One disbanded. Until today, because she dropped a mini, a debut mini album. And alongside a title track, Hush Rush, with an MV to go along with it. Uh, from concept pictures, Vampire, Vampire Slayer, kind of that era, that genre, which very appropriate considering it's the middle of October. So without further ado, let's do the fancy transition. Ooh, there we go. Now, well, uh, WM, 4K quality and English captions right off the bat, so good job. Oh, we'll go full screen. Enough stalling. I'm excited. I have no idea what this is going to sound like. Now I'm genuinely so excited just to see Cheon back on screen. Like, I don't care if it's singing or dancing or... We've seen idol variety content with her. We've seen her on a competition show again, which... Bittersweet moment for me, but we get idol Cheon back. So, now stalling. 3, 2, 1... Okay. The caption gener it's not auto generated, but the captions of Google Translate and kinda of threw me off for a loop. This is not the vibe I thought she was gonna go with the concept, like the whole vampire concept. I was not expecting. Also, I'm noticing a distinct lack of choreo so far. Can we have more idols going with that skunk or the reverse skunk look? Because I'm really appreciating that trend recently. And now, the breakdown. 
haven't heard that uh, breakdown sound in a hot minute. Where have I heard that from? I know this is completely unrelated to the video, but that sandwich made me really hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I wonder who's... Is that Cheon doing that vocal run underneath that? Who... I wonder who's singing that under... Because if it's Cheon, we haven't heard her sing like that, I don't think, ever. But I'm... I'll be honest, I probably, it probably looks underwhelming on camera, but I genuinely don't know how to react to that. Because, like, from concept pictures alone, I was fully expecting to be, like... Fully embracing the whole vampire, like spooky Halloweeny type vibes, or go complete other direction and take take the dark concept and go with it, and go with like a super hard dark concept, and then pair that up with equally like hard and aggressive choreo that we know Chaon's capable of. I wasn't expecting it to be almost Disney Channel movie esque like happy and smooth it's that's throwing me for a loop a little bit i can't lie i'm i think the live stage is going to hit a lot different because in terms of choreo i mean chan's the dancing feather in eyes one everyone i think the entire industry knows that but we didn't get to see much of that choreo we saw her twirling around a lot but that was about the extent of the choreo, and I'm hoping that isn't the extent of the choreo, and that there is actually a chance where Cheon can shine with how well she can dance. But the song itself, I'm... I can't get the thought of, like, a Disney vampire film out of my head, which, if that's the concept she's going for, she nailed it on the head. But I guess that's what that's what I get for not going into it having haven't heard any audio spoilers whatsoever. But it's nice, it's really smooth, it's it kinda reminds me how I felt uh after Glassy. It's like it's very appropriate for Cheon. But at the same time there's more that I would have liked to see from her. And that's how I felt about Glassy as well when it first came out. But she does have an, the rest of the album. And I am curious to see what she's produced otherwise. So, hold on. One more fancy transition. Boom! Hopefully, the rest of the album is also very good. Because I'm, I'm very excited to see what Chan's been able to produce in the nearly... 18 months that she's been kind of away from the idol scene, so. Sorry if this comes off as very underwhelming. I'm kind of confused on how I feel about it right now. That's the beauty of first listens. It, for me, sometimes a song takes some time to like marinate and grow. And I think, in t as a debut, I think this is a solid debut. Like, it... It shows off what she can do, like, like musically, it shows off what she can do, and it leaves space for improvement. So, that's about, that's about it from my rambling analysis, whatever you want to call it. Uh, channel icons up there, the if I've done the end card thing right, and if you want to see another video from me, YouTube recommends you watch that one. Uh, like, subscribes, comments, feel free to do any of those you wish, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.